Greetings, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to my channel. Before we start, let's open with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with open hearts, asking for your presence to fill this time. Lord, many of us carry deep wounds and hurts, and we seek your healing touch. Help us to understand the power of forgiveness and guide us through the process so that we may find true freedom in you. May your Holy Spirit bring revelation, comfort, and peace to every person listening today. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today we're talking about a topic that many of us have struggled with. Healing from our hurts. Everyone gets hurt and wounded by others, including myself. Whether it's through emotional betrayal, physical harm, or even deeper wounds like sexual abuse. These scars can run deep, affecting our minds and spirits. But I want to tell you today that there is a path to true healing. And it begins with forgiveness. Forgiveness is not about excusing what happened to you. It's not about saying that the wrongs you suffered were acceptable. No, forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the chains of pain that bind you. Jesus himself teaches us in Matthew 18, 21, 35, that we must forgive those who hurt us from our hearts. When Peter asked Jesus how many times he should forgive, Jesus said, not seven times, but 70 times seven. This wasn't just about a number. It was about a heart posture. Why is forgiveness so important? Because when we don't forgive, we leave an open door for the enemy to come in and torment our minds and bodies. Unforgiveness gives demons legal rights to attack us, keeping us trapped in bitterness, anger, and pain. But when we choose to forgive, we close that door and remove those rights from the enemy. You don't need to go to your abuser or the person who hurt you in person to forgive them. In fact, often that can cause more pain and give them an opportunity to mock or hurt you again. True forgiveness happens between you and God. It's a decision of the heart where you release the hurt and allow God to bring healing. It helps to understand that many people who hurt others do so because they have been hurt themselves. They may have suffered abuse or neglect as children, and without healing, they continue that cycle of pain. Ask Jesus to show you the brokenness in their lives, the hurt they suffered that led them to act the way they did. When you see their pain, it can become easier to forgive. Once you have made the decision to forgive, speak this prayer from your heart. Lord, I choose to forgive. Name of the person who hurt you for causing me to feel. Name the specific hurts. Rejected, abandoned, betrayed, etc. I give all these emotions and hurts to you, Jesus, and ask you to heal my heart. After this, take authority and say, In Jesus' name, I command every demon that attached to my soul through this pain to leave and go to the pit. Remember, forgiveness does not mean reconciliation. You don't have to continue a relationship with someone who is toxic or abusive. But in your heart, you can release them and let God deal with their actions. This is the beginning of your healing journey, and it's a journey that will lead you to freedom and peace in Christ. In closing, thank you for joining me today, my friends. Remember, forgiveness is a process, and it's okay to take it one step at a time. God sees your pain, and He is with you every step of the way. If this message has blessed you, please share it with others who may need healing. Subscribe to the channel for more messages of hope and freedom, and let's continue this journey together. God bless you all, and I'll see you in the next message. Eyes open!